I know, I know you. I know Shamika. I know George. Y'all have hit this enough. fool. Look at her. Why do you try to run? He believe it. Let him see it. Let him see you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we can ready to make Shamika's chili. You want me to start uh, sauteing this? What does that mean? Sis, put your phone down. Come on and cook. Take a break. Okay, so first, uh, sister, what you have to do? I ain't cooking it. This is your <laughs> channel. <laughs> this is your channel. <laughs> what you mean? Oh my gosh, she's strange. Come on, cook your food. What you okay, the do? first thing you do is cook the meat down. Is that what they say? You cook the meat down and you put seasoning salt on the meat down. Okay, show <laughs> us. You got to show us. You're the instructor. I, I thought if I instruct that you just do it and I instruct. Come on, see. Okay. First of all, you cook. How do you turn this on? Oh. Let's see which one. Just turn this right here. Okay. So, we're cooking three ingredients chili and the ingredients are meat beans and tomato paste does it say sauce tomato puree which is pretty much tomato paste and it's only three ingredients <clears throat> because my mom taught me when I first got married that you need to cook be able to cook something for your husband I was really really busy so I didn't have the time to stand over a stove all day every day so she said literally you only need three ingredients to cook chili and she said to start with and I never stopped like I was supposed to graduate to the next level and I just never did also um, well, hers was four ingredients because hers included onion but my husband doesn't like onion so I don't cook with it Ooh, onion sounds good I don't like it. You can put it in yours if you would like. Totally. Okay, you have some? Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. Nope, I use um, Bush's Original Baked Beans because they already have a lot of flavor. Chili beans and other beans, they don't really have um, flavor, but these are already flavorful. So good. And this is the bacon and brown sugar kind. So good. Can you open this for me? Absolutely. There's a can opener right in there. If you hand that to me, I will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now, who done stole the can opener now? Okay, step out of the way, sis. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-uh, this is too much. It's just for heating it. You want to put all of this in chili? No, I'm going to put the onions on. Okay. You want to just open this one? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start cooking the meat. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to be encouraging to the. Uh oh, uh -oh she about to give us the the wrap the, the paper that soak out the stuff. I do not enjoy cooking. I'm not gonna use all of this meat because it's too much. My can opener is a little oh, disabled. What? Okay, so I'm gonna cook some of this. I use a spoon. I see other people use bigger devices or utensils, but a spoon is just fine for me. George, are you breaking stuff? No. So, do you cook for your husband every night? Um, no, I don't cook for him every night. We actually have been doing meal prepping. What do you do? Um, I do meal prepping too. Um, I use um, this guy that I met at one of your BRL conferences. Yow! Terrence. Terrence brings us food twice a week. Yow! Because I simply don't have the time to cook. Not only do I not have the time, I thoroughly do not enjoy cooking. What don't you like about cooking? Well, first of all, like, you walk away smelling like what you cook. You can change your clothes. That's two outfits a day. Have you just not put any time in it? Is that why? Well, and possibly because I've cooked, I've tried to do it enough and I've burnt enough and I've been embarrassed in front of these husbands and stuff. Mm. And it's just, I just don't enjoy What's it. your most memorable messed up cooking thing that you oh did? Oh my word. Thanksgiving. Like, what was the learning lesson? You was like, uh-uh. 
Thanksgiving, me and my sister, me and Deidre, we tried to cook sweet potatoes. My Aunt Nisi that passed. She was giving us the directions. It was just us three on Thanksgiving because our husbands had to work. And she taught us, she tried to teach us how to cook yams. Sarah, that tasted so badly that we tried to <laughs> give Bella some of it. Bella wouldn't even eat it. Okay? It was just awful. Bella is the puppy. Yo. Bella is my dog. And what I. That, thing? that opener. I'm sorry. And you what? That's just when I said, never mind. I'm just. I'm not about to keep embarrassing myself. And then I don't have a type of husband that's going to eat it anyway if it tastes nasty. My husband is a Gemini with no filter. And he was like, this is awful. That is awesome. And he was like, ah! <laughs> he said, this is awful. He asked me, I fried chicken one time. He bit into the chicken and blood started dripping down. So I didn't get any encouragement from him. And then my mom kept cooking for us. And I can't um so what with all, her. What all are you gonna put in there? Just the just season the seasoning salt. salt. That's it. But you know, I don't I don't eat a lot of sodium. So just enough so that it has enough seasoning. That's it. Literally three ingredients because that's just too much and nobody has the time to be doing all these ingredients. No, it's that smell. Is it burning on it? It's taking you a long time to open my bag. I'm not sure what's it's going on. The can opener isn't working. Here, you try it. It's good. But I'm having a hard time. You got a really, a really big knife? We gonna buy you some utensils, praise God. Please, give me the house. I mean, again. ain't got nothing over here. How you gonna take it off of the stove? Did you miss the housewarming game? How you gonna <laughs> take it off of the stove and cook it? It's still hot under there, Shamika. Oh my so word, that ain't how it cooks. I mean, don't have a knife. It's a knife in there, sis. You don't have one of those big cutlery knives. Yes, it's a knife behind you. Just as slow as you can be. Does anybody see the knife behind me? Yeah, let's oh, try to oh. find it. Look in the picture and see if you can find <laughs> Okay. So this is it. And as she cut this down, I'm going to try to... You want to do it some more? It's a little broken. I'm sorry. I did tap out. She got the old school... Uh, this is not good. Like, I don't even think, like, people's grandparents do good anymore. It got rust on it. Yeah, we're going to. Thank you for the seed. Did I register? Yes. Register for what? For your marriage. Like, a bridal registry? No. Okay, can you register so we can buy you a knife? And Just a buy me one, friend. What is this thing? Ain't this, ain't this hey, friend? <laughs> Did you open that can? Did you so, open my can for me? So now we about did to. Did you open my can for me? Now we about to make sloppy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got the ingredients for the chili. So this is what I was telling Shamika. Well, we both were talking about it. But um, yeah, I was telling Shamika I thought that it was cool because she was like, my um, my chili is only of three ingredients. I thought that it was cool. That, like she said, if you're a working woman, you got something to cook. So, thank, shout out to mom. What do I call mom? Do I call her fairy, fairy godmother? godmother. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to mom for teaching us millennials what we need to do. But the other cool thing is, um, the chili is good. So, if you're on a low, well, she says low carb diet, but here we are about to put a can full of Because it's in only there. 30 grams of carbs in this entire can. So How many awesome. servings? So, 12 servings. So if you only eat one serving, that's 12 divided by 30, which isn't a lot. I don't know what it is. The carbs and the sugars. Yeah, carbs and sugars. Total carbohydrate, yep. Total sugars is only 12 grams. But a 33, 33 grams, and we're on a low-carb diet. Like 30 if we're grams. doing our no-carb diet, you're only supposed to have 33 grams a day. Right, so this will only be like 12. Less than. 
whatever Let 12 whatever 12 divided by 30 is so it's 30 no it's 12 times 30 no it's divided no, if, if the total divided. is 30 and it's 12 it's serving, 30 it's 30 grams and, and this is on the serving size is only a half cup so if it's 12 servings per container and it's that's the, a total of 30 mm -hmm. in the entire container it's, i don't think i think it's right. per serving yeah, I don't it's think that's twelve right. servings. You supposed to do twelve know. times thirty. Oh. Not twelve divided by thirty. No, oh, I don't know. Yes. Let's Google it. Google it. Oh. <laughs> Which one is it? It's times thirty. It's times thirty. Okay. I don't know. Twelve times thirty. I don't know. She can't get exasperated. It's three hundred and sixty. <laughs> yeah, so it's three three hundred and sixty carbs right. in that. Can. This is why I'm not losing weight then. Well, I was, that's because what I was I'm trying calculating to tell you, but wrong. you was arguing me down as if you were absolutely right. But Google it. You Google it? Oh, what does it say? I calculate. I've been doing it the opposite way. I, it's okay. We just we just got it together today. Oh, oh my word. Oh, what? Oh, what? Or do you season it to your liking? Nope. I just go with um, I wait until it's done. And if it needs a little bit more or something, then I'll add it at the end. But you gave me a good idea to... I didn't even... Can I finish my thought? Because we started going to that. Uh-oh, I just dug in my nose while I was putting it. That is wrong! <laughs> chili kind of thing you oh that's another thing you can use it for you can use it for nachos mm. oh very good so it's three things you can use Shamika's dish for you could do chili the little like nacho little spread of course you probably have to do more of like a meaty kind of approach to it and then the other one was a sloppy joe can you try this nice <laughs> you want to put it on the bigger eye there you go okay good job with the meat the meat is cooking down <laughs> and these don't take long to cook at all maybe 10 minutes and literally all you have to do is drain the fat from the meat using a strainer or whatever oil and stuff drain it put it in there oh man we got another can to open lord <laughs> good well I can make it I can try it well this is just pure you're right, right? So no, can... no. It's, is the tomatoes coming out? No, but it's thick enough. What I don't think it's saying? gonna. I don't think it's gonna come out of there. Girl, all my stuff is broke. Oh, Lord. Now, oh, and I like to look use... at the Lord! Look at him! Look at him! Wow! Woo! Girl, we was having a hard time. I mean, a hard time. Does um does this can opener have any and sentimental? And this is just as smooth as I thought it would be. No. We does this have any sentimental value to it? Yes. It came from my parents' home, from out of drive. Do not throw anything so, okay, away. Okay, I was about to say. Cause, okay, so it's been in the family for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, this is this the one we used to use when we were kids. Okay, no, but it still works. Good job. So that's it. You got so you want to put it? Yes. I don't 
don't like onions either. They're too strong. You want to put a little bit more seasoning in there? Nope. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. This like is a lot of taste. Yes, you do too. But I can eat bland stuff. You add salt to everything. That's well, I was going to add Miss Dashes. Chop I'll chop them in there. I was going to add Miss Dashes. Miss <laughs> <laughs> <Mrs>. Dashes. <Yeah. laughs> Mrs. Dash. <laughs> what was the first dish you made when you were dating your husband? Um, spaghetti. My mom taught me. Oh, you should have taught me that. I my, don't know how to make that. Oh, really? My mom taught me how to cook spaghetti as well. Oh, yeah. For my husband. So, um, and you know, she tried to teach me like five to six different dishes in like a matter of a day or two because I was just about to get married and she was just, she felt like she hadn't done a great job of teaching me because here you are about to say, I do to your husband and you can't even cook. So she was like, okay, come over. You gotta learn all of these dishes at one time. And I tapped out after spaghetti and chili. I tapped out like I can't. You didn't write it down? Did no, like no, I didn't want to cook. I don't enjoy it. I do not. And both of my sisters can throw down. My sister Deidre, she makes um, smothered lamb chops and asparagus wrapped in bacon and all that type of stuff. It's I bet really you good. if because we know we know what tastes good, I bet you if you knew how to if you start just perfecting it, girl, you probably could throw down too. You think so? Because we know what why you think we both juicy? Because we know what it tastes like. On the juice some way or another. Yeah. I know what it should taste like. I think also I don't have the patience. Like my feet hurt right now from standing up too long. It's too long. This is too we'll long. Get you a stool. Uh -oh. This should be done by now. The fire not on. This new a little bit more. This fire not on. It's not. I just got it long. Sorry. She made this new. You wanna see? You like a lot of seasoning. This is fine for me. I bet. Taste it. Yeah, I'm sure it's okay. You just like too much seasoning. Sarah eats too much salt and sodium. Mm. That's too much salt and sodium. Season, George. George might think it need more season. You you eat a lot of season. No, I don't. But they say I don't that it's also. Oh, we're gonna go see though. Put some Mrs. Dash in there. That's I not salty. Yeah, it's I'm not salty. Know, What's wrong? Nothing. We're here. We're here with you. What? I'm the only one that knows the show. Oh my god. Okay. So i this at home. I don't cook it. It's really good. And it's easy. We don't need all of these seasonings. Because let me tell you, you messing up my dish. You can't tell me how to make right. my dish. Okay, I'll let you have yours. Because this has seasoning in it already. Right. And she don't making it for a diabetic. <laughs> you cooking for a nursing home? <laughs> Y'all like our shirts today? Support black colleges. I love your shirt. Why didn't you, you can have one? it? You can have it, sis. This is more love you anyway. Out. I definitely love thought of you, you when I bought it. Love you too, George. Love you, George. Bye. Thank you. I definitely thought of you when I bought this. Right. But the ones that I bought you was the trap house one. Is it all? Yeah. Okay. Y'all would have been done cooking by now. What's going on? It's on. This is the bigger eye. You was about to put it on that eye. So you just gotta have patience. Maybe that's why you don't like cooking. I understand. Now that I don't, I don't have patience with cooking. So you have to cook dishes that you can 
prep and throw it in the oven and go and do something else and come back and it's ready? Um, it depends on the day. But you know how sometimes we'll be on the phone. You'll be like, what do you think I'm cooking? I enjoy it sometimes. It really depends on the day. Yeah. This is it's burning a little bit. So you want us to dump this in there? And you sure you don't want us to put no extra seeds I'm going to put this right here because this one is way hot. Oh, that's red. What's red? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, I'm it's sure. a little bit more time. I'm sure I don't want any more seasoning, but at the end, if you want more, then I will definitely okay. add it. And that's what Ivan does sometimes. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. They ain't gonna like it. They ain't gonna like it. I'll be getting to the money. All creatives are strange. Have you ever met one that was not strange? Because I've not. What is strange? Strange. Mm -hmm. It's just like conversations weird. Yeah. Like just not all the way wrapped tightly everywhere. Like slow. I think there's a strange something about every creative. Me too. I think every person is strange. <laughs> In their own way. In their own way. Yeah. Now, I don't know what we did differently that I don't do at home, but usually I have to drain the meat and there's not there's not a lot in there so i don't know what we did differently we just let it cook a little longer but it's also burning okay well that's something that i've learned to, okay so i'll let it cook a little longer because i always have to drain because it's always a lot of stuff okay so now you can put the meat in here and then we'll put the puree and that'll be good okay. so go ahead chef meat. i don't want chef to do it. <laughs> because it's not a lot of juice like when I cook mine, I, it's literally like draining. It's not no draining here. I wonder if it's the brand. You think it's the brand? No, I really think because when before we let it cook a little longer, there was a lot of juice for you okay. to try. Okay, so if you don't want a lot of juice, let it cook longer. Okay, great. So now we're doing this part. So good already. It looks good. Yeah. You've had my chili how many times? I think twice. Yeah, and you liked it both times? Yup. I was so shocked when you said it was good. And Deidre said it was good too. And the reason I was shocked is because y'all can cook. So please, if you try it, please let us know that you tried it and let me know what you, you think. You look so pretty cooking. Do I? Yes. I look like I'm supposed to be doing it? Yes. I don't look awkward, like I don't know what I'm doing? No. Oh, thank you. Okay. I don't enjoy it at all. <laughs> that was interesting. There it is. There's the finished product. And you can let it let it stay on the stove a little bit if you want it less soupy. I let mine sit a little bit because my husband doesn't like it super soupy. But it's up to you and you're liking. And at so, this point you taste it and see what you want to add. So for the less soupy approach that we would let it simmer a little bit, yep. that probably could be if you want it for sloppy joe. Perfect. Do you put it to a boil? No. Mm -mm. Because both are already hot. So I've already boiled the beans and then made the meat so they're both already hot enough. So literally it's, it's ready right now once the puree is added. Now, when I make it for myself, I use um, diced tomatoes because I like to taste the tomatoes. Once again, my picky husband, he don't like tomatoes either. So, I will use the diced tomatoes because I like diced tomatoes. I do too. Yeah. Try it. Thanks. Is it done? Yeah. It's done. Mm-hmm. It's good? Mm -hmm. You like it? I'll get you some tea. You like it, sister? Are you being honest or are you lying? Are you lying? No. I'm not lying. It's good. So what would you do differently? What would you add to your tasting? I definitely see why you said the beans already had the flavor. Thank you. Yeah. But because, like you said, I am a salty person. I like salt. What you think, sister? Add a little more salt. Good? You like or you like? I, no, I like it. Okay. I'm always so nervous when I cook it. Although I've done it a do like over a dozen times, I'm always so nervous. Like, cause I'm gonna like it. I never had. He should be a food critic. Baked beans. I like that. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm smashing it. It's good. Oh yay! Well, thank you.
you should make up a combination to catch in the cook this. <laughs> make sure y'all click the subscribe and share all of those good buttons. I hope that you have fun. And that's it. I guess I'm dumb 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 d